Hey guys, Sarah here. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be sharing finally what I brought in my hospital bag as well as what I actually used and what I should have brought. So if you're interested in that, keep watching. And if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe before you leave so you don't miss any of my future videos. All right, let's get into it. Baby Theo is going to be six months old next week. So I'm very, very, very late on filming this video, but I did still want to get it up for you because there's so many things that I brought that I definitely didn't use and I just I think I expected things to be different than they were in the hospital and there's a couple of things that I didn't bring that I wish I would have so now I know for next time I'm a little bit more confident in what I would bring with me so let's get into all of the things that I brought. If you are new here I did have a c-section I knew I was going to have a c-section because Theo was breech and he was breech from like kind of early on in my pregnancy he was just comfortable sitting there like that so i knew around like 34 weeks i think that i was having a c-section and then i had it scheduled for 39 weeks and i naturally went into labor my water broke very dramatically um at 38 weeks which i can link my birth story up in the cards if you haven't seen it yet it is crazy but it is not traumatic i do not believe in sharing traumatic birth stories because i think it just instills more fear and my story was crazy but it was actually really really good so this is kind of geared more towards c-section at least some of the products are i still have the list of things that i was planning on bringing to the hospital so First of all, I brought my pillow from home, which I cannot recommend doing that enough. I just think that it's it's just what I'm used to. It's what I'm most comfortable with. And that was so much easier for me to get comfortable in the hospital. The pillows that they give you are just awful, <laughs> to just put it bluntly. Uh, and so having something that's a comfort item like that, especially because you're kind of like bedridden while you're in the hospital so it's nice to feel as comfortable as possible with that next i brought the boppy pillow honestly i thought that the boppy pillow was something that i would use a ton through postpartum but i really didn't start using it until probably around like four months or so because for a plethora of reasons we were feeding football style so theo was kind of on my side and i actually never even brought the boppy into the hospital while we were there there was just no need for it i definitely wouldn't bring it again i think if you do want something you can just use pillows to prop your baby up if you have a vaginal birth then you're out of the hospital in like 24 hours and even with the c-section they usually keep you for three days but i was out of there within 48 hours so i don't think that the boppy was necessary for me to bring with me and then i honestly didn't even use it a blanket this is another item that I just wanted, knowing that I would be in bed a lot, I wanted something that I would be nice and comfortable in. And this was something that was like a nice comfort item from home for me to cuddle up with and keep me warm. I heard that the hospital was cold, which I don't think it was that cold, but it definitely was just more comfortable for me to have my blanket with me. As far as tech items, my phone charger, 100%, I actually brought my portable phone charger which i will link it in the description box but it works for android iphone there's i think like a mini usb or a usb c there's three different cords on it it is amazing uh, so i brought that which was great and then i didn't have to worry about plugging it in anywhere if you don't want to do that then i highly suggest getting a really long cord because where the bed is situated in the room you just don't know where it's going to be so it's easier to have a longer cord so you know that it'll reach and you'll be able to use your phone while you are in bed if you go into labor naturally you could be there for hours before delivering and then after that you just you're in the bed a lot so i feel like i can't stress that enough so having access to your phone to be able to call people or whatever is awesome i also heard to bring your headphones and so i did bring my airpods I did not end up using them but i thought maybe i would just so that i wouldn't be like having to have my hand holding the phone or if i was like facetiming people or something so that i wasn't disrupting but really i it, there was no point i also brought my camera my camera charger my laptop an extra sd card like i fully thought that i would film more than i did I didn't film at all like i didn't even take any of that stuff out of the bag so that for me was a total waste which i actually think i would bring it next time because 
I really thought that I would use it and I feel like again if I was going into labor I would think that I would use it because I just love capturing things but our birth was just so unexpected and quick that there was just no time. I will also say that I think I expected the days after he was born while we were still in the hospital, I expected those to be like us just in the hospital room by ourselves, but that was not the case at all. There were people in there constantly, like the people who were giving me my medicine, the nurses doing their rounds, and then they did medicine. They would check my vitals every few hours. The birth certificate people, the photographer, which we ended up skipping on that, but they still came to the room two times. They do a mental health check. They do a breathing, I don't know if this is C-section specific, but they give you this little contraption to practice your breathing to help with your, um, with your recovery. They have somebody come in and ask you to go on a walk with them so that you can get your body moving again. Um, there is just, there's a lot of people in and out of your room. So the time, and then plus family was coming in and out. So there was just not time to be filming. And I don't know, again, if that's like hospital specific or just I don't know what, but that was our experience. There were just so many people in there that we really didn't even have a minute to to record anything. Next, I brought makeup wipes, which I am so glad that I did because I could not get out of bed after he was born in the evening. And then that night, I couldn't get out of bed by myself to like go wash my face. I had zero energy whatsoever and I still had a catheter in and I couldn't get up and walk yet. So even if I wanted to wash my face, I wouldn't have been able to. I didn't get up until later that night. So when I was ready to take my makeup off, there was just no way for me to get to a sink and actually wash my face. So having the makeup wipes was amazing. It also just made me feel a little bit more refreshed after a long day and surgery and all of that. I brought my skincare and my makeup, which I'm sorry I'm not showing you guys all of this. Obviously it's been six months. So all of this is just like put away and I'm not bringing out a whole makeup bag and like packing it just to show you. It was my makeup bag. It was my skincare bag. So skincare, I didn't use at all. Not a single thing. I didn't have the energy at the time, the care at all. But my makeup, I did put on makeup one day, which I tried to just do like a super quick five minute makeup look. And it took me like almost three hours to do it because of so many people coming in and out. And I just wasn't able to actually just sit down and put makeup on really quick. So that was um, something that I did use. I would do it again. I would definitely bring my makeup and I think next time I would be a little bit more assertive about how many people were coming in and out of our room. Let's talk about pajamas. I gave birth on a Monday evening and I didn't change into my own pajamas until Tuesday evening. And that's partially because I had surgery and so for all of Monday night, I was in my hospital gown but I could not get out of bed yet. So. I mean, I'm not gonna like try to figure out how to change when I can't even move or stand up or anything yet. And then when Tuesday rolled around, I thought I'd be able to take a shower and I was finally cleared to get up and take a shower on my own. They were gonna take the IV out because I did have a port, but uh, by the time they did that, it was like midnight. And so I was already exhausted. So I figured I would just shower in the morning, but I did end up changing into my pajamas and I brought two pairs of pajamas. I highly recommend this style one or the other. So the first thing I brought was this striped pair of pajamas. They're wrinkly because they were just rolled up in my drawer, but this is a nightgown and it is a button down. This is amazing for a C-section. And then I also brought this pair, which is also button down and it's a shirt and then shorts. So depending on what type of birth you have, is where um, the difference in this is. If you have a C-section, I can't recommend having a nightgown enough. You don't want anything rubbing against your incision. And so having a nightgown where nothing is touching you is amazing, but the button down helps you still be able to nurse really easily. That is the reason why I chose the button down style for both pairs, but I would go with the nightgown. I will probably bring two nightgowns next time I have a baby. If you have a vaginal delivery, or if you're not sure what you'll have, maybe one of each, or uh, just bring the shorts if you, I guess, are more confident that you will have a vaginal delivery. But um, yeah, with a C-section, a nightgown is 
the way to go. I brought a couple of nursing bras and I did change into one at the 24 hour mark. When I put my pajamas on, I did change into the nursing bra. So that I would definitely bring again, but quite frankly, when I was in the hospital gown, I didn't have a bra on at all. So it's just, I don't know. It's hit or miss. I did not think that I was gonna be the person that just stayed in my hospital gown and my hospital socks and all of that, but I totally was. I brought slippers, shower sandals, and fuzzy socks. I did not wear the slippers at all. I ended up just walking around my room instead of walking the halls or anything. And so because of that, I was just wearing socks because I thought they were more comfortable and I didn't wanna wear socks and slippers. And so I didn't want my feet to be bare and I couldn't bend over or anything to put them on. So it was just easier for me to just have socks on and leave them on. And then as far as the sandals that I brought to shower in. I did shower the morning that we left the hospital, which in retrospect, I definitely should have just waited until we got home because it was so hard to shower there. It was like this walk-in shower, Theo was crying, Adam was in the shower trying to help me, like, but also not get wet, but it's not an enclosed shower. It was just, it was probably hysterical looking at what we were trying to do. And he had to help me wash my hair. I couldn't even really lift my arms up. It was a mess. So. I did bring a shampoo and conditioner and I did use it, but if my hair hadn't have been that dirty, I would have just not washed my hair until I got home. I My hair was already dirty when I went into labor. I took a shower the morning that I went into labor and I didn't wash my hair and I was thinking, oh my gosh, I really need to wash it. I'll wash it tomorrow, I'll just throw braids in it today. So I threw braids in it and then went on with life and then went into labor. So my hair was like at its dirtiest point already and then I had Theo that day and then the next day I couldn't shower. So the day after that I finally was able to shower, I had to wash my hair. So I did bring shampoo and conditioner and I did use it. I brought hair ties, which I think this would probably work better for people who have a natural labor, but because I had surgery, my hair was already up in braids and then a messy bun, so I just left it. And then when I took it out, I had the hair tie from that and I didn't lose it. So that wasn't something that I needed. Maybe I'd bring an extra one just in case I did lose it, but yeah, I didn't need, I feel like I made a big fuss about making sure I had a couple and there was no need. Lip balm, yes, yes, yes. A thousand times, yes, bring a lip balm. It's cold in the hospital and I feel like it's again one of those just like comfort, like luxurious things that it feels good, it like helps your dry lips, but also it's, it's like a comfort thing for me. So it was like a thing that I had from home that was my thing to put on and I just kept it next to me and I don't know why that was really comforting for me. I think I just don't like being in a place where none of the things are mine, like nothing around us in our room was ours and so it felt good having something that was so and just your lips are so dry i was so dehydrated because i couldn't drink anything i couldn't eat anything and so yeah i was so 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 dry i brought my water tumbler and it stayed in the car <laughs> I thought I would bring it in, but we were in such a hurry because my water had broken. And then when I got into recovery, they gave me ice chips and then they finally let me eat and they just brought me a cup of water. And then every single time I kept asking for more water because I was so thirsty. So I think they put a note in my file because then anytime a nurse would come in, like I think my first nurse, I had her for both overnight shifts and she was amazing. And I think she put a note somewhere because then when they switched shifts, that nurse came in and she's like, hey, here's your water. And then she kept bringing me water. So I did not need to worry about having my water. And the thing about this is if you have a C-section, I don't know how it is if you don't, but if you have a C-section, you don't wanna drink out of a straw. This is something that I heard, but then I didn't follow it and I wish I would have. So when you drink out of a straw, you probably never think about it, but you get the air that goes through the straw until you get the liquid and you're intaking air and it creates gas in your body. <sighs> And let me just tell you that after a C-section, you don't want any more air in your body than is already in there. So highly recommend not using a straw after a C-section. We brought snacks, which I think Adam may have eaten some of them. I didn't eat any of the snacks. I just, they gave me a bunch of random food when I got out of surgery and was able to eat. So I ate that and then um, I would just call and just order food from the hospital and they would just bring it up to me. That was included in the cost of staying there. So yeah, I didn't 
eat any of the snack. Deodorant, yes, a thousand times yes, bring deodorant. Gel breast pads, I don't have these anymore. I only bought one set of them. They're these like cooling breast pads. I will link them below. I did really like them, but I wouldn't bring them to the hospital again because they are soothing for your nipples, but they do not fix cracking or any type of issue like that. So when you start breastfeeding, it's straight up, it's just painful and you might deal with some cracking or something like that. And if you do, these are not going to fix that issue. So you need nipple cream and yeah, so I would use those again but not at the hospital. And speaking of nipple cream, I didn't bring any with me, but they did have some at the hospital. So they just provided that and I used it. I brought my curling wand. I don't know why. I, I think I just thought that I was gonna have downtime. I did not have downtime there, uh, but my hair dries naturally straight like this. And so I assumed that if I washed my hair, I could just let it dry and then I'd throw some waves in it and be this like, I don't know, beautiful postpartum person, but that was not the case for me. Theo's baby book. I brought this for a very specific reason and I'm glad that I did. So they actually put his footprints in it. They take footprints or put them on this piece of paper for us, but then I asked her if she would just stamp his feet right into the baby book and she did. So that was something I didn't have to worry about doing on my own at some point it was just done for me and i'm so glad that i brought it theo's going home outfit as far as things that we brought for him i brought a couple of onesies we just brought his diaper bag we had his little name swaddle just another swaddle i brought a knotted gown i brought the little tile that had his name on it which i can link everything that i brought for him down below but the only things that we used were a white onesie that he went home in because nothing fit him because he was tiny and um, we used the swaddles for him and the nameplate, but we, we had way too many outfits for him, which honestly, like straight up, I'd probably do it again because I would just not know. And I didn't know what I would want him to wear when we took his first photo. And so I would, I would definitely do that again. Like, I, I don't even care. The clothes are tiny, who cares? Throw them in the bag, it's not a big deal. A few other items I brought for postpartum these beautiful underwear <laughs> i did not wear these and i likely wouldn't bring them next time which i actually i'll show you at the hospital they gave us this so these are just mesh underwear and they're also disposable and and then they gave us us me um these giant pads that go inside of the mesh underwear so that is what i used and honestly it was fine i didn't need this situation i feel like i'm sure these are comfortable and maybe if i didn't have a c-section i would have preferred these but i personally just used those and that worked for me i did bring breast pads as well which i didn't end up using i mean truly my milk took almost two weeks to fully come in which i've heard is pretty typical for a c-section so I mean, I had some colostrum and stuff, but I was not leaking by any sense of the imagination. A couple of the other things that I bought that I maybe would have used if I didn't have a C-section was Dermaplast. I heard this is amazing. Um, this is the Sitz bath spray, and then these are witch hazel cooling pads. So all three of those things I heard great things about, but I ended up not needing them because I did have a C-section. I wish I would have brought a pumping bra and that is because my milk hadn't come in yet and i think that would have helped me get it in quicker they did actually have me pump in the hospital and um, i was just like holding the flanges to me it was not comfortable it was time consuming and it just took up my hands so i couldn't do anything else which is really annoying but this is the um, pumping bra that i got i will link it below i will link everything i can below but this is amazing i bought a bigger size when I was firstly postpartum because I hadn't like shrunk down at all yet and I did get a smaller size and I for sure would bring that next time I'm in the hospital. And then lastly, this is the item, actually the hospital gave me one and I threw it out because I just used it to death. But my friend gave me this one and I ended up not using this one because I did have one from the hospital, but it is this band and it is like, it goes around your waist and it just keeps you in. When you have a C-section, 
all of your insides just feel like mush and I feel like this was the only thing that was holding my body together because obviously you have just been cut open and so you have no muscles, no strength, no nothing and then your uterus is still enlarged and it's shrinking down. Your body just feels like hollow almost and nothing could hold you up and so for the first few weeks I wore that all day all night and just wrapped it as tightly as I possibly could and it was a game changer so highly suggest I'm sure the hospital would give you one but I seriously wore mine out so fast so maybe even get another one I know there's a bunch of different brands that have them alrighty guys that is everything that I brought to the hospital as well as what I used I hope that this was helpful for you if it was please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe before you leave so you don't miss any of my future videos thanks so much for watching bye guys